Hello YouTube, this is Greg Pot this one. Today it's kind of like an announcement video slash review. Uh we have lots of reviews to do. Lots and lots, and we have got to get them over with. Um a few of them over with, um, possibly before Christmas. Or not Christmas, uh, New Year's Eve, maybe. Uh, but a couple of them will be uploaded on New Year's Eve. First, a proper review of Barry J. Freeman collection. Uh, of the Justice at Carlisle, um, Mallard, the RT339 Mallard limited edition version, then we have the Black Five, yes I have a Black Five, finally, and finally today, what we're doing, as you'll probably know by the title, is the Heart of Middle Odeon Train Pack. Also, I will be getting one that is the Cunarder, or the Cunarder, whatever you want to say. Um, um, basically, obviously this is just the standard Hornby box, train pack box, the old version. Which I quite like. I really do like the decorative sleeve thing on the top. Um, opening up the box, we can see there's not much I can show you till we actually open the box. Opening the box is pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see, I just took off the thing that covers the top for a little decoration. Um, there is one little spot where you can tell that it is the Heart of Melodian, which is right back here. If you can see, R2794M, Heart of Melodian Train Pack DCC Ready, which is nice. Um, really nice, good, very good. So here, we have just the little flap there. Then we open it up like this. And like that. Now, if we can just clear out the shot, make it look all nice and clean borders. Now we can see, as we open the flap, it's a Class A4, a Falcon, which has got, oh my gosh, had so many extensive repairs because it arrived broken and everything. Class A4, same instructions that we get with Mallard. Um, that was an unboxing video. This is unboxing slash review. Um, here we have the DCC jacket. Um, I'll probably going be going to DCC with this engine. I'll probably sound, if anything. So that'll be really neat. Either that or, or Mallard. Hard middle of the end. Certificate of authentication number 502 of 1500 inner city 82 has 194 so yeah then that is what we get um this is the train obviously um you do get some details in here usually um but they're away you get cylinder drain cocks to a pair of a pair of them for the underside of the cylinders um and you also get a vac tube, which goes right on the rear of the tender by the coupler. Um, a flange wheel, which goes on the pony truck there, the rear pony truck. And you get a little Heart of Middle of the End headboard, which I will go grab in a little bit. Um, we're going to start by going from bottom up. So let's start with the first coach. The first coach number, I'm not guaranteeing that this is going to be accurate to yours, but if you have it, but it is E15145. That's the number. Um, really good detail, surprisingly. Um, usually, Hornby don't make the best coaches. Um, as you can see, we have gigantic tension lock couplers, and they're not even NEM. Um, but it is fairly nicer than that. Uh, Really quite good, and look at the little lettering at the top. How to middle of the end? It says little, little first class uh, stickers on the windows. I um, mean, no smoking signs on the windows. Really nice, and it has emergency lighting point. Um, one, and then none over here because that's the standard class or third class, as commonly known today uh 
if we can just get the brake coach out. Sorry, I just bumped the camera. Um, again, really nice. Um, I have fitted a lamp onto the rear of the brake coach. Um, if I can get this to focus. There we go. Um, but that's it. That's all I've done to any coach uh, here. I've just fitted the, the little red oil lamp right there. Um, again, gigantic tension lock coupler, couplers, buffers aren't sprung. But they look metal like. Um, if we can just get the camera to focus again. Sorry, this is my new phone. It's kind of difficult to work with. Just take last coach out there. Here we go. Now this one is E1544. First, and then we have a standard class. Um, I didn't check the numbers on this coach, but it is E35160. It says load two and a half to two and a half. Let me start over. Load two and a half tons distributed. <laughs> Interesting. Um, the undercarriage detail isn't bad from this angle. Obviously, you just got hollow um, stuff, but that's not bad looking. That's really nice. Um, and these are Mark 1s. Um, Eastern region Mark 1s with the maroon and... Um, what is it? It's blood and custard. Well, not quite. Lovely lettering right there. That's just so fun. Or not fun. Well, yeah, it's fun. It's it's really looking fun, you know? Like, you can have lots of fun with this little lettering. Because these are specifically for the train. And you can know that, oh, these are the hard metal lettering coaches. These go with this train pack. Apart from the Conarder, that one um, has just special names on the coaches that go with it. So, yeah. The Tender. Let's get that out next. Um, these trains are quite difficult to get out of the box without breaking. Um, but the tender detail is fantastic. Look at that detail. You can see the little corridor running all the way down. And the little corridor diaphragm. And then the look, look at the little window right there, too. Come on. I'm focusing on the tender here. Sorry, I'm talking to my camera, telling it to focus. There we go. Now you can see the detail. Uh, we do have sprung buffers. Yes, sprung buffers. And NEM couplings. Look at that dovetail. Well done, Hornby. British Railways Lake Crest. Um, usually you would get fake cola, but I have made it flat, like the style that Hornby put in, but it's real coal, um, so it looks kind of factory, but it's not. Um, you can see the front of the tender detail isn't bad either, it looks really nice, um, really, really nice, um, now, polystyrene there here is the main star look at that beautiful look at that this has been fitted with a crew and painted so that's really neat um the fireman is just there as you can see um the cab doors have been had to add, have had to been added because it actually, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, cab doors, because they broke off, so yeah, during shipping. And so did the number board up here and the lamp iron up here. As you can see, you can just barely tell that it's been replaced, except for all the smears here. We need to get rid of that with some cleaner and stuff. And so did this little plastic piece just here as well. 
um, this little plastic, I don't know if you can see it, the little plastic piece, just like the one over here, had to be added just here. Number 60025. Built it, um, let me pull this little bar from the camera. At Doncaster in 1937, by the London Northeastern Railway Company. Um, RA9, I don't know what that means. It doesn't have um, any power rating, I don't think. I don't know what they were. If they were 7Ps, 8Ps, 9Ps, 10Ps, that would be quite, quite extraordinary. 6Ps, 5Ps, 4Ps, 3Ps, 2Ps, 1Ps. I know it wasn't 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. It's got to be, or 5. It's got to be heavier than that. Um, possibly 7 to 9 is what I'm guessing. Because these locomotives were quite powerful. Oh, obviously, because it is specific. Um, I say 4, 6, 2. If you look at it, you do 2, 3, 2. 2, 3, 2. And you double it, 4, 6, 4, or 4, 6, 2, sorry. Or, yeah, 2, 3, 1. Sorry, 2, 3, 1. And then you double it, 4, 6, 2, because there's those wheels on, on the other side. So, yeah. Um, look at this. This is fantastic. Look at the cab detail past the engineer environment. Look at that detail. In the cab just look at that bucket seats and we got the regulator and the shutoff valve and the brake release handles I mean, look at that and even on the you can see it from the window if we can get it to focus you can see it look at that that's amazing and right here we have the correct wood outlining there which has glazing inside the windows, and we got the little something right there that has to do with the cap. Just fantastic. And the number plate, or the name plates, are really cool as well. Um, because you can see Falcon. It's not etched, okay, but they're not printed on, as you can see. They're three-dimensional. Wow fantastic set this is just amazing and it cost me what 120 pounds um well 110 after um the uh catastrophe with it breaking during shipping um another thing i didn't mention is that um the buffer beam fell off during shipping, and I had to glue it back on. But now you can't tell. The locomotive and tender both have sprung buffers, as I said. Um, this is where the little vac tube goes in, right? I hate this camera. It, it doesn't focus very well. You can see there, that little hole right here is where the vac tube goes in. <laughs> Another look at the, the real coal load. Um... And that coal load is removable. In fact, let me get the little plastic piece that comes in it. It doesn't look bad at all. It looks actually fairly good. Um, just here. That looks really good. You know, but I just like adding real coal. It just makes it look that much more realistic. You know what I mean? That much more realistic. Even with this in, I mean, just look at that. That looks like the real stuff. Almost just like the real stuff that I put in. Fantastic. Now, I said these warm NIM, NIM couplings that can be uh, removed if wanted. You can see NIM. It is removable. Um, but in can you fit a coupling in the front of the engine? I don't know if you're supposed to, but I already did um, once to double-head it with Mallard at my grandparents' house. I just wanted to see how it looked. You can see that little hole past the screw. 
um, right. If I can get a pointer. This is a large pointer, but there is a hole past the screw, and I did fit an M coupling. You can see there. Kind of. Not really, but you can kind of fit an M coupling. I wouldn't recommend it, but I already had, so... Yeah, um, let me show you the detail that comes with it. It's just over here, um, on my dresser, stuck on blue tack to keep it in place, that way I will not lose it. Silver drain cocks here. Cylinder drain cocks there. Just peel all of this off with the blue tack. Here we go. This is the detail that comes with it. Um, here's the little vac tube. If I can get the blue tack off. This was a Christmas present, by the way, um, and so is the Canarder, but I had to pay for part of the Canarder because it's so expensive. Um, here in the U.S., this cost about $225, um, U.S. dollars, about a hundred and, I want to say 50 pounds, uh, total with shipping and everything to get here to the U.S., um, but it is fantastic. I can't seem to get all the blue tack off of this vac tube. I'm abbreviating it because I'm lazy. I call it vac tube instead of vacuum tube. Anyways, here is the tiny little vac tube that comes with it. And a little baggie. There's the vac tube. Oh, we got a little blue tack on the hundred red cocks. I'm just gonna get that off. And here's one of the cylinder drain cocks. Um, they don't like to keep paint on themselves because they rub off really easily paint but look at that look at that intricate pipe work pipe work um i have test trial uh fitted the cylinder drain cocks um but really i don't know if i really want the drain cocks on unless i'm displaying it because it just i don't know it's it's hard to explain like the curves like it'll go around them but it still presses on the um, front bogey, and it just, it's, it just, I don't know. It scares me that the pipes are going to break, and then also that the paint's going to rub off on the front bogey wheel and make the, the front bogey wheel bronze colored. And I don't have an exact black paint match for this train. Um, I had to use the cab doors from Mallard uh, to, to fit here. Today, we're actually I'm actually going to go to Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to see if I can get the uh, exact color of this train um, to color the cab doors. So, yeah. If not, I'll have to order some uh, with the refund that the guy gave me to uh, paint the cab doors, and then I have, I'm home, I'm going to home make the uh, cab doors for the Mallard. Um, I'm going to make them a little bit more intricate than this. Um, a little bit better. Probably going to print them off. Um, print a picture off of these or go off, you know, something. And then I'll go ahead and, and paint them according and make them according, but... Wow, this is almost a 20 minute long video. Wow. But still, this is just... 
This pack is just absolutely amazing. If you can find it, get your hands on one. Detail, I'm going to have to say 10 out of 10. The detail is just absolutely mind-blowingly brilliant. Um, linkage, just, I forgot to show you guys. Look at that linkage. Look at that. You got the little, this is the, the curious rod that somehow people say that it, it affects their running on their trains and everything. But I don't see how it can. Like, I guess it gets caught up in this rod because it hangs too low. And as you can see, it is hanging a little low. But I have bent it to where it won't go too low to, low enough to touch this main driving rod there. <laughs> um, but yeah, just fantastic. I mean, just look, even the balancing the, that's gone, you can see the little details in here by the cylinders. Just, it's so just amazing. Wow, detail again 10 out of 10. Running, oh my gosh, I would give it 11 out of 10, but I can't. 10 out of 10. Packaging, 3 out of 10. It's horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. Broke this in transit. Lost the cab doors in transit. Well, probably not. The previous seller probably broke them off or something and couldn't find them or anything. Uh, number board's gone. Lamp iron was gone on the front. The uh, buffer beam was actually um, completely gone. Um, so, yeah. What else? Accessories. Oh my gosh, you get tons of accessories with this engine. Um, the cylinder drain cocks, the um, hardware loading headboard. Um, what else? Uh, let's see here. Cylinder drain cocks, fact tube, flange wheel, and the uh, hardware loading headboard accessories. Um, detail. Again, 10 out of 10. The coaches are railroad to be honest and just look at the detail on them it has a little corridor compartment seating compartments um it's got like little little numberings and stuff i mean come on people give hornby a break like not a break coach a break <laughs> um you can see the little lamp i fitted there um it still says c1 so you can still see c1 Focus camera. There we go. You can still see C1 right there. Which is the length, I'm guessing. Um, or type of coach or region where the coach was used. I don't know. Probably the length. Because I think I heard that somewhere. Possibly Inner City 82. Probably there. But just 25 minutes long video. Oh my gosh. But this fantastic pack. I have got to recommend it. If you can get your grubby mitts on one, get it. Seriously. This is fantastic. Running, 10 out of 10. Absolutely 10 out of 10. Low speed performance, oh my gosh. On DC. Not to mention DC. Um, wow, just fantastic. Um, this has been Greg Pucks 1, and thank you for watching. Bye!